All right, good morning. It's about 8.25, getting a little later start. Had breakfast at the Weary Feet Hostel. Super good breakfast. And uh, I'm only doing 15 today to get to the Woods Hole Hostel. And then I think I'm out of hostels until Dalesburg, Dalesville, which will be four or five days. So uh, I will... We've got a little bit of climb to start, as usual. By the way, congratulations to Scotty Scheffler. Uh, it was fun watching the Masters. He put on a clinic down the stretch on how to how to win a match, and uh, did really well. So happy for him. Happy I got to watch it, and happy that it's a really nice day out. So I'm sure I'll be taking this blue shirt off soon as it warms up a little bit. See you guys in a bit. Alrighty, good morning again. I just stopped 1.1 miles in to take my blue shirt off because it's already hot. And take a minute and soak in 1,000 miles on the trail. So with everything I did up north and everything I just did now, I'm 1,000 miles in. I feel pretty good about that. Next milestone is like... 100 and some miles up, 110, a little less than that, to get to uh, my halfway point. So let's go. I'm excited about this. And, uh, oh, let's do Would You Rather. So got this suggestion yesterday from one of our viewers. Sorry, I forget who. Um, but it is another golf-related one. But since yesterday was the Masters, I think it's, appropriate we can do it um if you're not a golfer i'm sorry but would if you are a golfer would you rather win the masters tournament or win the u.s open all right give that some thought one is one of the most tradition laden events and one is considered the hardest challenge in golf the u.s open because of how they set the course up usually but uh I'll think about that today and you guys can give it some thought if you're not a golfer i apologize but uh we'll see what i where i land later today see you guys talk about the green tunnel holy cow this is some thick big rhododendron down here super sunny out but we are under the shade now just a couple miles in but it is really nice out I'm already warm and sweating a little, but I think it's going to be a good, good day. So I'm totally digging this. I got the trail runs right along this stream, has been for a little while while I'm underneath all these rhododendrons. So got the sounds of the rushing water. It's warm, but not hot. It's shady. Man, this is like almost fun today so far. We don't get to that climb, it won't be as fun, but uh, yeah, totally digging this today so far, early in the morning. Another water crossing here with a bridge that is a little bit unlevel, as you can see. My camera is pretty straight, the bridge, not so much. Oh, but it's uh, all good. Beautiful out here. I think this is called Ribble Creek. God, it looks so nice. Definitely should be trout fishing. But I'm hiking. Time for fishing later. Gotta always be careful coming off of these bridges. I slipped once up in New Jersey and fell right on my butt. Back under the rhododendron. Pretty quiet day. There's one hiker up ahead of me, Huddle. He's hiking. He kind of uh, meets up every night with a guy that's behind me. Taxi. Met them both a quarter way in, and they were at uh, Weary Feet last night. We all got dropped off at the trail at the same time. Huddle's a younger guy. He's up ahead. Uh, taxi. He's probably about my age. He's a little behind. And uh, they're going like 17 today to a shelter. And then they're going to go and get a hostel in Perrysburg uh, tomorrow. I'm going to stay at a hostel tonight. And depending on how much resupply I can do at 
Woods Hole may or may not in the middle of the day uh, when I cross by Perrysburg get a hitch or a shuttle into town and go to a grocery store and do some resupply there. We'll see. So, but gorgeous day out. Keep on keeping on. Well, it is 11 o'clock, 6.6 miles in. It is like a summer day out here. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, warm, nice breeze. Birds are chirping all over the place. There are all kinds of different new ones. I'll have to look them up again because I always forget their names after I look them up. But uh, just finished listening to an hour plus podcast. Found this guy, if anybody knows him, Lex Friedman, F R I D M A N. No idea who he is, but I saw his uh, podcast. Saw he had like a two hour interview with Elon Musk and another two hour interview with Jeff Bezos. I downloaded those. I listened to the Musk one the other day. And I just listened to him interview a woman named Lisa Randall, a uh, particle physicist talking about dark matter, extinction events, and all kinds of other science stuff. Uh, really super interesting. Um, I feel like I'm pretty smart. And some of that stuff is really esoteric and way out there, but uh, raises some very interesting questions. He sounds a little strange. I mean, he, he sounds like he could be stoned while he's interviewing these people. Just the mannerisms, the way he talks, his very slow delivery. I'm going to have to find out a little bit more about him. But I have downloaded a bunch of his podcasts to see. Because he gets some really good guests. So he must be somebody pretty smart, pretty well respected. Because he gets some really good guests to sit down for very long form interviews. Which is not easy to do. So I'm going to do a little bit more research about him. And uh, if anybody knows what his deal is, let me know. And I'm going to listen to a couple more of them. Probably later, but now I think I'm gonna listen to the birds for a little while. Got that big climb still to come. I'll probably put some music on to help me up that climb. But here's another bridge. A lot of these today, which is all good. See ya. Alrighty, how cool is this? A little man made pond here. Bunch of ducks out there. There were a few more that took off when I climbed up onto the bank here. But really super nice. Looks like there's some tenting spots over there. This would be a great place to camp. Be a great place to do a little fishing too. Oh, it is warm out. I am sweating. Breeze feels good, but man, that sun is warm. Definitely got to get some fishing in when we're done the end of this hike. This just looks awesome. Uh, so good. So good. All right. About to start a 1,300 foot climb over about two miles. I haven't had one of these in a minute. So, fortunately, I'm in the shade, which really cools it off. And uh, we just take it. One step at a time. Away we go. Good afternoon. It's one o'clock. It's, uh, I got 10 mile, 10.1 miles in. Just did that big climb. Ugh. Reminds me that climbs are still hard. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. On the climb, I got passed by a woman that was hiking. And I saw her coming, I was sitting down taking a rest and I saw her coming up the trail and her pack looked so small. I, I just assumed she was a day hiker or a section hiker. I said, uh, are you a section hiker? And she was like, no, through hiker. And she just like blew by me. And I got up and started moving and she was just flying by me. And then just past her, she was sitting down to have lunch. And I uh, stopped talking to her for a second. I said, hey, I'm sorry, I didn't realize your pack looks so small, I couldn't believe you were a thru-hiker. And she goes, I get that question all the time. She's got a Gossamer Gear 36 liter pack. Now, I just bought this 
this pack, oh, just drop my pole. Oh, I got a 58 liter pack. Now, I got a few things I can send home, but I don't have that much that I could send home uh, at the end of this week when I see my dad. So I don't know what she's carrying, but it's not a lot. And she's flying. She started on March 19th. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so freaking slow. Now, she's more than half my age, but still, I should be able to do a little better than, than what I seem to be doing, I feel like. But maybe she's just extraordinary. That seems pretty fast. March 19th, and she's already 600 and some miles in. She's crushing it. So, trail name is Special K. I'll probably, she'll probably pass me before I get to this hostel in five miles. And probably the last I see of her. <laughs> um, anyway, just checking in. It is hot and uh, sunny. I put more sunscreen on when I stopped. And uh, yeah, all good. See you in a bit. All right. Took the side trail to Sugar Run Mountain. I'm at the top of it. And this is supposed to be a view worth the side trail. So let's check it out together. Ooh, not too shabby. Look at this. Still not much green out there, huh? Pretty nice. It is so hot. After the two mile steep climb, there's still another mile of mostly uphill. So last three miles have been all uphill and my legs are feeling it. It is hot out here. So apparently there's a cave over here. I'm gonna go look for somewhere around here and just peek in, see if I can find it. But first I'm gonna sit down have a little water and enjoy this view. See ya. Okay, well, I think that is the entrance to a cave. Somebody said, notes and far out, so you can go down in there and go along the rock line here, but there's no way I'm climbing in there. Just no way. But apparently some people have. Leave that to the young guys. Let's get going on our way back to the hostel. See ya. All right, I'm heading back to the trail from that big view. Uh, I got some cell coverage, so I checked the weather. According to Naki weather, it's 79 degrees in Narrows, Virginia, which is right near here. Real field temperature, 87. No wonder I'm freaking dying on this hill. It's crazy. And of course, there's a severe thunderstorm warning for a bunch of counties here in Virginia this afternoon. So. Good thing I only got about three and a half miles to get to the shelf, the hostel. Uh, when it gets this hot, this early in the year, you could definitely get a pop-up thunderstorm. Um, so we'll get there, get checked in, see what the resupply looks like, and figure out what the next four days, five, four or five days, I gotta figure it out to get up to get up to the end of this far out map, which is Daleville, Virginia just north of Roanoke, and uh, hopefully Dad can come meet me up there on Saturday, if I can make it there by Saturday. We'll see. Remember what I said about things starting to bloom? Uh, I retract that statement. There is nothing blooming here. This part of this woods is just like, look at these trees. Everything is just like, This little plant right here, nothing cutting on it. This is really a rocky section. It's like the climb today was very rocky, it's similar to parts of Pennsylvania. So it's been a tough afternoon and a really nice morning. But uh, temperature's up to 81 now. Who knew that that was gonna happen? I'm gonna have to get my summer conditioning started early. Uh, if this keeps up, but uh, yeah, it's been a rough go this afternoon for sure. But a little bit more than I think, I think like a mile and a half or two miles to go. We'll 
check in one more time before we finish with the would you rather today. All right. It's uh, five minutes to three, a little over 15 miles in. And I am on the gravel road that gets you down to Woods Hole Hostel, half a mile down here. Uh, whew, hot day. Uh, legs feel okay, uh, but man, the heat sucks it out of me. And uh, hopefully, well, I guess it's better than being too cold. Who knows? Anyway, the Would You Rather today, uh, golf edition number two. Would you rather win the Masters or win the U.S. Open? So I thought about this for a little while. It's uh, definitely the Masters for me. It's just it's the most classic. It's traditional. Everything about it, the green jacket, Augusta National, uh, yeah, it's just Butler Cabin, all that is just too cool. The only, the only thing that gave me pause about the U.S. Open was if I could win it at Marion, uh, which hosted it, I think, 2013. I think they're doing it again in 2030, 2040, and 2050. And since that's right down the road from where I live, I've had a chance to play it a couple times. It's an awesome, awesome course. Uh, and uh, that would be pretty cool. But not as cool uh, when it's all said and done as winning the Masters. So getting a green jacket is what I'm voting for. See what the other golfers think. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.